Al Gore described the current state of affairs inside President Trump's White House as deeply troubling and riddled with distractions in a new interview aired Wednesday evening. The former senator and Twitter and vice president offered his opinion during an appearance on MSNBC's All In with Chris Hayes. He was asked to reflect on a wave of recent West Wing hirings and firings given his past experiences in the White House during President Clinton's eight years in office. Do you watch that like everybody else does and just say, what the heck is going on? Mr. Hayes asked, yeah, sure, Mr. Gore responded. It's deeply troubling. And for me the most troubling part of it that it serves as a set of constant distractions from the problems we should be addressing. Nothing's getting done. I think in the process the president has been isolating himself from the rest of the country, Mr. Gore told the interviewer. You see Republicans in the House and Senate now moving to separate themselves in increasing numbers from the dysfunction and distractions, constant distractions, in the White House, he added, including a slew of recent staff changes at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Mr. Trump appointed Anthony Scaramucci, a New York financier, as White House Communications Director July 21, spurring the resignations of both his press secretary, Sean Spicer, and Chief of Staff, Reince Pribus. Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly was subsequently named as Mr. Pribus' replacement and made firing Mr. Scaramucci this week one of his first orders of business. Mr. Gore appeared on MSNBC to promote his new film, An Inconvenient Sequel Truth to Power, a follow-up to his award-winning 2006 documentary about climate change, An Inconvenient Truth, it's set to open in the theaters nationwide Friday.